let's dive straight in and take a look at installing Bitdefender on your mobile phone. If you haven't yet purchased antivirus for your devices, then I would highly recommend this top of the line security app. You can install the free version of Bitdefender, however, you will not get all the features as shown in this video. Go ahead, open the app and check the subscription agreement box. Use your registered email address here and sign in. Click the Get Started button and activate web protection for safe browsing. Now scroll down this list and enable Bitdefender Mobile Security Services. Click back and let's just do a quick first time scan and let's just hope there are no viruses. Now that it's been activated, let's turn on anti-theft. Okay, so now let's choose to allow Bitdefender access to your device's location and grant admin privileges. Let's select the activate option which will then grant Bitdefender to remotely manage your device if it's lost or stolen. Go ahead and set up a PIN. In this case, I'll use 123456. Okay, so press set PIN and turn on the activate snap photo feature. After three attempts, takes a picture of the person trying to unlock your phone. Check all these options are enabled. If this option is not enabled, you'll not be able to remotely manage the device if it's lost or if it's stolen. Now let's look at this device using the Bitdefender Management Console. You want to head to Central Bitdefender Dashboard using the link in the description. Sign in with the registered email address or you can just create one from here. You can also sign in using Facebook, Gmail or Windows Mail account. Let's click on the test phone and it will take you to this page where you have three tabs. Dashboard protection and anti-theft. Looking at the protection tab allows me to see when the last scan was. It shows here that it was scanned half an hour ago and whether my device has been infected. The anti-theft feature that we enabled before works here and it's a great feature which I used when I lost my phone. Thankfully it was only under the sofa. If you press on the locate button it will pinpoint its current location or the last known location. In order for the locate button to work you'll need to keep the location of the device enabled. This next button allows you to send an alert with an alarm sound. This is how I found my phone under the sofa. Careful as the sound is really loud. Finally, we now have the wipe button. Press this to remotely wipe your device. Use it with caution though, as it will format your device and there is no going back. I hope you found this video useful. If so, please hit the like button and subscribe to our channel. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below.